Hi, this is Sri from Techie Talks here. In this video, what we are going to do is, we are going to add an entity capture mechanism to our agentic tool. We have seen the agentic tool that is able to make a booking for the user. This time, we will also capture the user's name. So let's see how it works. So here's our chat system embedded onto a sample website and here we have the sidebar where you can upload documents upload pdf documents text files and also website urls and here you can select the large language models i am sri can you book an appointment for me Okay, your booking is confirmed, Sri. Your booking reference number is so-and-so. So, we saw booking reference number. We will see how it's able to figure out the name and pass it on to our tool. Before that, we'll see how you can easily run. The code needed for you to run is provided in the GitHub repo and the URL to the repo is there in the YouTube description. So, you need to git clone Techie Talks AI uh, GitHub repo. I'm not cloning it. I'm already cloned it after that cd techie talks ai folder then cd 0012 folder that is where we have all the files needed remember the only change that you need to do is to add your api keys to this file and rename it as .env. That is the only change that you need to do. After that, you need to execute docker compose up minus d to launch the application. Now, what we will do is we will look at the logs to see how it's able to capture the name. Okay, so here. See here, here, this is the prompt. I am Sri, can you book an appointment for me? And it's able to detect that it is requiring a booking tool. And here in the argument section, it's able to figure out name equal to Sri. So it's, it's able to pass the name Sri to the booking system. Let's clear the chat. Let's first try to make a booking request without giving our name. Can you book an appointment for me? See, your booking is confirmed. Instead of name, it used guest. So this is what we are going to see now, how it's able to identify the name. If the name is not provided, it uses guest. Let's look at the code. So this is the apb.py. So here, so in the booking agent tool, all we needed to add is provide an additional parameter with a default value and this is given as name so it's able to identify the parameters from this and cleverly pick the name from the user's prompt if the name is not provided it will use guest clear response comes from the agentic tool itself booking is confirmed and name is so simple isn't it so this is the power of pydantic ai mechanism where you don't need to uh, create a json based response with the name etc from the large language model pydantic ai does it for us that is it thank you for your time see you again in the next video please like share and subscribe bye bye